It's really exciting to me to be here at a Confidential Computing Summit now. And this is the breakthrough moment. There's so many things coming together right now. The Confidential Computing Summit is really the only place where you have this many people who are invested in making confidential computing a reality together. And that is really what makes the summit so great. Mounting risks due to AI uh, and generative AI to their business in terms of you know, whether security, data privacy, uh, IP protection is constantly increasing. And there is a risk of all of this momentum getting slowed down because of that uh, risk. And confidential computing becomes uh, an instant answer to all of this. We are not the only ones that feel that there is a rise in interest in confidential computing and it's now becoming known outside of our small realm of all of the enthusiastic people around the confidential computing. The whole idea of confidential computing seems to be catching some wind. This year I think uh, I was even talking to some of my potential customers telling them next year they should present, uh, you know, this sort of the concept uh, can be made more business applicable. I think that's really where, you know, what, what counts. Gopster is one channel. We also have our booths over there, and we also have the talks and panel discussions. I think um, have all the different channels to discuss ARM confidential computing. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's been great to see so many high-level uh, speakers and panelists talk about their vision for confidential computing and you know, how it can be leveraged for uh, artificial intelligence and data security. As organizations start to realize that they need to prioritize data security over other security measures that they may have been taking, confidential computing starts to become one of the key elements that uh, organizations can deploy to get there. And uh, the summit is really the place where you can learn about how to do that and how you can reduce your security budget while still maintaining the same level of security. The biggest thing is at least I've gained from an Intel perspective here is like just being able to share um, the brand awareness. You know, we've had a lot of engagement during the poster sessions, and it's just been nonstop with people asking a lot of questions and really wanting to understand uh, the product set. So that's that's been a great value to me. Yeah, this has been a fantastic event for us. So much collaboration and good discussions between partners and prospects and just anyone who's really interested in the confidential computing space. This is the first time I'm involved in this booth, but it has really allowed us to have a discussion and a meeting point for people to come talk to us and we can showcase our products and what we offer in the confidential computing space. I don't see any other industry event that's as widespread and, and great as this one, so I'd highly recommend them. There was an insatiable appetite in business and organizations for data that was in conflict with the demands of organizations to secure that data. As a result, Opaque has brought to market a confidential AI platform, and here this week we're releasing our next version of the platform, our next generation, Opaque 2.0. The significant innovations that we're releasing here are allowing organizations to run general purpose AI workloads. Your business will be running on AI uh, and you're gonna have to have trust that your data and your, and your results of the many millions of dollars that companies have put into their uh, AI development is indeed preserved. That privacy, that confidentiality is preserved.